apply the three uh, measurements, the measurement lines for the cut. One is for the outside cut itself, one is for the turn, and one is for the inside seam. And I could have made the uh, turn line a little thicker. I think I just fell in love again. <laughs> underneath the seam that I'm going to rivet so that when I drill through it goes into the board and uh, I clamped it off on either end to keep it stable. on this tin because it's mighty sharp and uh, I gotta put two more C clamps down along to take this gap out before I take this edge and bend it over. Uh, the guy at the hardware store said to use pliers and a hammer so that's what I'm gonna give it a try with. sharp edge on it and uh, the guy told me that you could even get blood poisoning if you get cut up too much with this stuff. Yeah I see that. that uh, that's curling up. That'll be good. The uh, guy at the hardware store said uh, um, to use a fence uh, stretch bar, a cyclone fence stretch bar, like this here, to line up the <coughs> the edges of that, and the straightness of that edge I'm going to put in there. But when I put it down on there, this thing is more crooked than the edge, so I don't think that's going to work. I need to get a straighter bar. I got the lip of the edge at a 90 degree angle with the pliers and hammer. Now with the cyclone fence stretcher bar in place, I'll curl the bent edge over it. Well, I got the two long edges uh, done. And 
it's uh, the edges are bent over the that's that cyclone tension bar underneath there and then riveted through both sides of tin that's folded over so that makes a nice sturdy edge I need to do a similar thing to the long sides and then figure out some cross supports to make it nice and sturdy because this will be lifted up all in one get-go for the lid for the reflector and for the lid for insulation so that's it for now well I'm just home from work and I have a little bit of time today to do something with this bash box water heater project okay I'm, what I'm going to do is run tape on the inside heat resistant tape and so uh, I'll go get into my grubbies and we'll be out and we'll do that So what we're doing now is we're running this um, HVAC uh, deck tape on all the seams in here. Uh, the, the caulking that we used really didn't get it nice and secure and flat. So this HVAC aluminum tape will do that. And this stuff, it was a big roll. I've used up about this much of it already on the heater, but um, this peels off the back little paper backing and this portion this side of it is very sticky it'll stick to just about anything and stay there so you peel off only as much as you need at a time cut it because there's no sticking it in your mouth and biting it off like you can duct tape this has to be cut each time and then we're just going to do all the seams right along there okay with this stuff you have to measure off just as much as you need at a time and you don't peel that backing off till you're actually using it because it can get really stuck on itself and you'll never get it undone. So just one section at a time. There we go. Start it out, peel as you go. Peel and press, peel and press. And then you just continue doing that till all the seams are done. the two uh, support pieces in where the tank's going to sit just to kind of eyeball it. And now we got to figure out some cross stress right here to keep them from wobbling in and out. So lots of options there. Just had to figure out which one I want to go with. 